There is no new normal for climate change because it's going to continue for the rest of our lives. No one alive today will ever see a stable climate system again. So as we update our dams and spillways for handling flooding in a warming climate, as we update some of our groundwater recharge facilities for handling some of the storage that we don't have as we have more rain and, and less snow, let's make sure we put those investments into our natural infrastructure, into our, into our headwaters. To maintain those healthy supplies of water, we need to maintain those watersheds. Those watersheds are where the water comes from. You have to protect the water at its source. Our snowpacks are getting smaller, and by the end of the century, um, we're predicting that snowpacks will be about 80% smaller. That means a lot less water is being stored up in the mountains. The health of the forests are largely what determine the quality of the water and also, to some degree, the amount of water that's released. The fire suppression regime that we've had for more than a century has greatly impacted our natural infrastructure. It's, it's degraded its ability to store and filter water in, in ways that continue to be, frankly, a crisis for us. We can use science to come up with the forest management practices with the thinning patterns that will give us a forest that can produce timber or biofuels as well as water. For the rest of our lives, the climate system is going to be changing. But the degree to which it changes is still up to us. We've done all of these community outreach programs and you can educate the next generation of, of where our plan is currently standing. Inaction is not an option. You have to take a positive step to have a future worth preserving. All of us together. <laughs>